Joining me now is Madhur Anand, whose book, This Red Line Goes Straight to Your Heart, has won the Governor General's Literary Award for Nonfiction. Congratulations, and thanks for joining me. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, this is a memoir. It's a story about yourself and your parents. Why was this something you wanted to write? Well, the original idea came to me um, with a, a sad event. My mother had a heart attack in 2015. And um, I realized just in my time with her at the hospital there and looking at all the medical diagrams of her heart and everything, um, it suddenly dawned on me that I knew very little about her life. And, you know, as I was sort of confronting her mortality, I realized it was absurd, for example, that I didn't even know um, the name of the town where she was born. And this is my mother, right? So, um, yeah, and that just um, led me on a path of um, wanting to write down their stories at first, just for myself. But then, because I am a writer, I'm a poet. Uh, I published my first book of poems a few years ago. Um, and because I'm also a scientist, I was sort of taking those two um, lenses on um, getting their stories down. And at some point, I realized that I wanted to share them with others. When you tell such a personal story like that, what's it like to have it read by so many people and then to end up winning a national <laughs> award? You know, when I, as soon as I made the decision to turn it into a work of art, um, I knew that I was going to be transforming something that was indeed like really personal, but the whole project of that, that transformation or translation into art, um, I don't know, it transforms the thing in such that I feel like it's then telling a more universal truth. So even though it's personal, um, it's something that I, I was hoping that many people could relate to. And so in that sense, I'm okay with that aspect of it. One of the most unusual things about it is the way it physically uh, is. It's in two halves and you can flip it over and read the other half and you can read either half first. How did you come up with this sort of concept and why did you want to do it in that way? Yeah, well, I'm going to show it to you because I think, you know, people don't get to see it very often, especially like because we're all on the web now. But um, so, yeah, so here's the book and that's the face that everybody sees. Um, and so this side of the book, this part of the book, if you enter it, it, it tells the stories of my parents' lives um, alternating between my mother and my father in the first person. And as I said, that was the original motivation of the book. And at first, actually, I thought that's what it was going to all be. Um, but then, you know, as I was telling them, as I started to insert my view as a poet and a scientist, I realized there was a lot more of me in it than I realized. And so um, when you read the book, when you get to sort of the end of my parents' side, which is about halfway through the book, um, you'll encounter upside down text, which is weird. <laughs> so you have to flip it over. And that's the second cover of the book and the second part. And then there's a whole series of stories told um, like in the first person, but it's of my life. Um, but it reflects back on their life as well. Very cool. Something that might surprise people is the fact that you're a, a poet, as you mentioned, and a professor of environmental science. How does your writing impact what you do as a scientist and vice versa? How does your science show up in your writing? Yeah, well, um, science shows up in my writing in a, in a couple of ways. One is just with the um, vocabulary that I use. Um, I tend to use a lot of metaphors from science because I, I, um, I've it's like a language that I've learned, right? And, um, but it's also a culture too. Science is like any language, right? It's associated with a culture. And um, so there's a certain, I've been told that there's a certain kind of like objectiveness or at least perceived objectiveness, object, objectiveness in, the t in the way that I write um, that might be different from somebody who's not a scientist. Thanks so much for joining me. If people want to read the book, where can they find it? Um, they can find it pretty much anywhere books are being sold, but if you're in Guelph, I highly recommend you to go and grab it from the bookshelf. Um, the bookshelf has been, is, has been extremely 
supportive as many indie bookstores in the pandemic for readers and 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 very much so for for writers so um yeah support the bookshelf congratulations so much on this award and um, on your book so thank you so much for joining me thank you so much thanks for having me